thing that we remove the most common most commonly in the head is going to be CSF cerebral spinal fluid let me explain why there's three things in your cranial vault inside your skull there's brain tissue which is 80 percent blood 12 percent and CSF 8 the brain tissue you don't want to remove that helps you live your life blood is your nutrition so you don't want to remove that CSF CSF does a lot more with uh, cushioning so although it's nice and it's comfortable it helps it is the one thing that we can remove from the cranial vault if need be you never want to have too much pressure in your skull because those three things will get squeezed everything gets squeezed and then you can end up with a stroke so you want to make sure you keep the pressure appropriate what happens when the pressure increases it pushes on not only the brain tissue but it pushes on the blood vessels so you don't get enough blood to the brain and folks can have strokes in the end from elevated intracranial pressure this is a picture of Ford's theater it's in Washington DC you may ask yourself why am I showing you this when I'm talking about intracranial pressure you might even see the picture of the fellow that this is relevant to through the window you can see Abraham Lincoln at the Ford's theater it was 1865 Good Friday Abraham Lincoln was shot around 10 30 10 20 10 30 at night he didn't die to the next morning around 7 a.m. in the meanwhile Dr. Charles Yale Liel, he was a I believe 23 year old army surgeon was caring for him what he would do for Abraham Lincoln is this every time Abraham Lincoln would stop breathing or moaning or writhing in pain he would remove the clot from where the bullet had entered his his skull and let the blood and CSF drain out after he would do that the breathing would improve he would stop moaning and the pain would subside what he was doing, Dr. Liel, back in those days, was actually reducing intracranial pressure. So sometimes you can look at history and actually figure out why they were doing the things they were doing from a modern-day medical standpoint. 